Hey there, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of the 3C Show. And this time we had a question about shooting through glass and how do you fix it once it's done. So you probably saw the video above this one and that's my tips for not getting <laughs> these bad reflections when shooting through glass. But this is a really cool shot here. I'm, I'm really digging it. Um, it can be fixed. It is a bit of mucking around, but we can do it. You know, it's, it's definitely a Photoshop thing. Um, I only have the JPEG of this image, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can with that. But uh, let's see what we can do here in Photoshop to fix out these reflected areas in an image like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Command J. Okay, so this is a bit. Of, there isn't a few advanced little things here, but I've just duplicated the layer here in Photoshop. Now Command Plus, I'm going to zoom in. You can see we've got a few things we need to fix. There's reflections here. There's a zipper here and a bit of a red jacket, but um, I think I think we can we can do a pretty good job of uh, bringing this photo back to something that can be usable. Um, there is a little bit of work in this and there's a little bit of mucking around. You may see me fast forward this video at places, but um, yeah, you'll get the hang. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the spot removal tool. I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to see how Photoshop goes with doing some of this stuff automatically because if you can get Photoshop to do some of the work for you, it's going to really speed things up. So I've just got the spot removal tool here. I'm just painting over this area. Let's see how Photoshop goes bringing that up. Just making sure there's no duplication. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, there's a bit of red here. I think it'll fix that up pretty well. So we can just ping through pretty quick, fix up that red. Now, this here might be a little bit trickier because there's plenty of red around. So I'm just going to take my time here. And sometimes uh, when you're doing this sort of stuff, less is more. And obviously, you don't want to road there. So we're going to get rid of that too. Let's see. So taking less area, Photoshop is sourcing less around it and we can get rid of some of that red. We might leave that bit there for now. I think that's going to be a clone stamp tool job, but uh, we've got this section through here. Let's see what it does with that. Yep, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, pretty good. Let's have a go at this bit. It's getting close to the edge, and when you get the close to edge of something, sometimes you get some funkiness, but Photoshop's done a pretty good job there. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's just see. We're buzzing around, having a quick look. Now, here we go. On to the funkiness down here. So let's just have a play around, see how Photoshop goes with this. But I've got a feeling we might have to get in here and do some clone stamping. There's a lake here. And unfortunately, that lake is going to have to go. <laughs> and it's not that we want to keep it there. It's just, you know what? Photoshop's going to replace it with trees. But we're trying to save the image, okay? We're doing the best we can. You know, I would recommend you never get to this point. You know, hopefully you could block some of the glare out. But if you can't, at least you've got some ammo now on how you can fix it. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the clone stamp tool now. All right. And the clone stamp tool is a really cool tool. You need to select a source and you want to make sure it's just selected the current layer. That's the main thing. And we're going to head down here. I'm going to paint some of these trees in down here and get some of that rid of that nice texture. And I just want to bring it up to the edge of the road there. And I think that's looking pretty good. We don't want to make sure we're not getting too... Oops, just undo that last one. Got a bit uh, carried away there. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. And then I'm going to bring it up to the road down here. So I think we'll get away with the road. So I'm just painting that in there. It's looking pretty good there. Pretty good. Let's bring up those... I don't want too much... Doubling up there. I'm just bringing it up to the edge of the row there. Like I said, a bit of fiddling around. Just take your time with it. Still a bit of redness right on that row there. And I think we can probably bring that up really close there. Now, there's a little bit in here as well. I'm just going to bring that up. Make it a bit bigger here. So if I hit the square brackets, left right square bracket, it makes it smaller. Left square bracket, it makes it, sorry. <laughs> right square bracket makes it bigger. Left square bracket makes it smaller. So let's get on to that now. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just adding some texture over. Oops, and that's made a bit of a mash of it. I didn't select my point first and that's my bad. So I'm just bringing that up. I think that's looking pretty good. I just want to fix up this area in here. I think there's a bit of a, a double up with the clone stamp there and that's looking a lot nicer. Let's bring some of this down in there. All right, let's zoom back out now. If I just hit the hit the plus key, you can see where we've come from, okay? So this is before, this is after, before, after. That's looking pretty good. I still think, I still think there might be, let's have a look in this area down here. I still think there's a little bit of reflection in this area. You can see it's a slight change in the color of the trees and stuff like that. So still with the clone stamp tool here, I'm just bringing down 
over this section because I've got a feeling I think that's a change in color. And what I might have to do for this section, I'm going to undo that, is I'm going to lower that opacity because it's such a big area in here. You can see there's a major color shift in here. It's such a big area. I just want to fade from that darker tree line to the lighter tree line down in here. And to do that, I really need to lower the flow and the opacity and I just need to build on that, okay? So when I mean build on it, it's um, not 100%. So I'm just getting partial flow between those areas. So I can build across there like this. And it's just taking that transition and softening it from that reflected area that's lightened up those trees to this dark area down there. And let's have a look, let's zoom back out. Yeah, I think that's a lot nicer. See, that was before, after. It sort of softened up that transition there from that shadow to that brighter area that's actually been caused. So there's still a bit of red on the road here. If we zoom right in here, you can see we've still got a bit of red and stuff in the shadows there. And that could be a little bit tricky to fix. Um, because there's no real place to clone that from. So what I could do is I'm just going to play around here. I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. Actually, I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to grab this color up here that's not very red, okay? So I've just double clicked that and it's made that color there. Let's have a look. It's a little bit, I'm just trying to click around until I get it. Yeah, that's probably pretty good there. So I'm going to go okay. Now I'm going to go over to the brush tool and what I want to do is I want to show those opacities right down and I'm just going to, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm going to paint with the paintbrush on this new layer. Okay, so it's just a light paintbrush and I'm just trying to change the color of the red there. So I'm actually physically, I'm painting straight on uh, this layer at the top but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of some of that ready tone and make it a more gray looking tone. And I'm gonna paint all the way along the road here just so the whole road looks like the same. And you can see it's just a slight change, nothing too dramatic. So what I've done is I've just painted on that road there, okay? So let's zoom out and have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that was a lot better. So if I was to turn these two layers off, you can see um, that's the original layer. Then we've got the red and then I turn that layer on and it's got rid of that last bit of that red tone there. And I think that's looking pretty good. I really like where that's come now. Now I can export that and I've got some sort of a usable image where before I wouldn't have had anything. So great, great image. Thanks for sending it in. Uh, awesome. I think it was Sue from the Team 3CX members. So yeah, awesome job. Thanks for sending it in. And um, yeah, like I always say, it's better if you get it right in camera, but it's not the end of the world if you've got these awesome reflections and you know, if you've got this awesome image like this rather and you've got those reflections, you can actually do a bit to, to bring it up and finish it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It's been been really fun i love these little photoshop things that you know so much fun playing around and of course i was using my wacom tablet i absolutely love my tablet it just makes life so much easier when you got to do this painting and and cloning and things like that so yeah thanks again i hope you enjoyed this one this has been johnny for three colors three colors.co the site that's full of photography love if you've got a question for me hit me up at help at three colors.co and i'd be more than happy to help all right i'm out peace